Now we will solve real world problems involving arc length. Here we are supposed to compute the length of cable hanging between two poles. A cable is hung between two poles of equal height that are 20 feet apart. A hanging cable assumes the shape of a catenary. Uh, catenary means whenever you hang a cable, you know the shape that is formed, that's called catenary. The general form over here is given by this particular equation y equals a cos h x by a which can be written as this as well in this case suppose that the cable takes the shape of y equals five times e that is euler's number x by 10 plus e to the power minus x by 10 for minus uh, for x is greater than or equal to minus 10 or less than or equal to 10 as shown in the figure how long is the cable it's very simple because the equation is just given over here. But you need to understand this cable is hung at this point at minus 10 and at plus 10. So we need to find the, uh, it's 20 feet apart. So minus 10 to 10, the distance over here is 20 feet apart. So you must understand that uh, the length will be around 20 feet because the cable, since it's 20 feet apart, there'll be a little bit of sag, yes. But it'll be around 20 less than 25 or something like that okay so what i mean is this distance is 20 right but the cable is little more than that because it forms an arc catenary uh, catenary in the sense it, there's a sag in the cable so therefore the length won't be 20 it'll be more than 20. let us see that now so we here first we need to differentiate the given equation and write the limits so what how do we differentiate this it's very simple because differentiation of e to the power x or uh, e to the power anything is e to the power anything itself. It does not change. But look over here. This is just not e to the power x. It's e to the power x by 10. So what happens is the differentiation is same e to the power x by 10. But chain rule because this is another function altogether, right? You need to solve this. Derivative of x by 10 is 1 by 10. So this happens. So now in this case, for example, over here, what we have done is we have multiplied this phi inside and you're getting this. Now, what do you do? All you need to do is derive this. So phi e to the power, over here it's phi e to the power x by 10, right? So phi as it is, e to the power x by 10 as it is, but multiply 1 by 10. Same thing with the other side. Over here, what happens? Phi as it is, e to the power minus x by 10 into minus 1 by 10. Why? Because when you derive x by 10, you will get this. Now, when you simplify it, it will become half e to the power x by 10 minus the minus sign over here. It will be again phi by 10. That is 1 by 2 e to the power minus x by 10. I hope this is clear. So this is how we get half e to the power x by 10. And this has to be minus over here. My, uh, I'm sorry, this needs to be changed to minus. Here, why minus? Because when you're deriving x by minus x by 10, it will be minus. Okay, I'm sorry for that. This is minus over here. It's not plus. I'll be changing it soon. So that is the thing. Now all you need to do is put it in the formula over here and then solve. Let us directly put it in the formula and solve and the appropriate limits. So integral over here square root 1 plus this entire term. So use the brackets. Half is 0.5 and e to the power that is shift and over here that's Euler's number and power alpha x divided by 10 and what do you do you need to add minus over here down press this die uh, right side you know this right uh, option to go below this okay so now what happens is after 10 if i just press once and put a minus it'll be to the power so make sure you come down properly and then now over here it's again 0 0.5 because it's half minus half e is shift e to the power minus that is alpha x divided by 10 and close the bracket and square it up 
and write the limits from minus 10 to positive 10. Now the answer over here is 23.5. So I'm sorry over here I missed out the minus sign. Uh, it should be minus. I'm sorry for that. And the answer is 23.5. Okay. Let me just show you if I if I put plus over here, it'll be wrong. Um, it is a typo error. I apologize. So if it's plus, the answer is wrong. It is minus. Please uh, make sure that when you derive it, if you do not derive it accurately, if you do anything wrong in the derivation to find y dash, then the entire problem is wrong. Okay. So this is minus over here. And now the answer is 23.5. Now, analyze the answer. 20 feet, okay, it's a part, but the length is 23. It's correct. Why? Because it should be more than 20 and about 3.5 meter sag. You know, that, that sag is there. Therefore, the addition 3.5 meter. So that is what it means. This corresponds to the distance. 20 feet, which is a part, and 3.5% uh, of 3.5 feet of slack. 